This is a Bonaventure School. Give it up for Lawrence Sonko. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know you're looking quite radiant today? Did you just see that? Well, of course you couldn't because it's right in front of me, but it was a smile. All through the power of a compliment. In the current world today, where everyone is oppressed of their decisions, what they think, and what they want to do with their life, we should be more positive to each other. We should compliment each other. <coughs> Always make another feel happy about who they are. You see, the quote, Sticks and stones shall break my bones, but words shall never hurt. I believe that is a complete lie. <laughs> you may ask why? Because every time someone may say something hurtful to you, something that you don't feel confident about, it will always cut at your self-esteem. Now, how can this be replaced? I believe in the core. We find ourselves in each other. I repeat, we find ourselves in each other. Again, what does this mean? Through the experiences, people we've met, is what has made us to who we are today. So, now that you know that you have the power to build someone into the person that they are right now, why would you want to make them feel upset about who they are? Why would you want to make them feel that they're not worth what they actually are? That's why we can change it right now. I was reading an article, I think about two years ago, that it was from the National Institution of Psychological Science. And there was a professor called Correct me if I'm wrong. Norihiro Sadato. <laughs> and he did an experiment with 48 adults. He got them to memorize some clicking sequences and they would test them the next day. So they came and did the test. From there, they split them up into three separate groups. And in these three separate groups, they gave one group a positive feedback and the rest nothing but the actual school. Surprisingly enough, you'd find that when they came back again to redo this test the next day, they actually, the people who had received compliments had received a better school than anyone else. What does this tell us? It tells us that compliments will always change something. You don't know what someone's going through in life. I don't know what you're going through. You don't know what I'm so, how about we make someone stay? Make someone feel special. Make someone feel happy with themselves. And that's how the professor came up with the notion. To the mind, to the mind, a compliment has as much worth as receiving money. And I know we all love receiving money. <laughs> so why don't we use that power to use it today? 